that Africa and Kenya does not have enough employment opportunities. What you are being asked to do is to go out there and innovate and create employment of opportunities. I have no doubt in my mind that you have the ability in whichever sector that you have chosen to create jobs and opportunities for young men and women across this country. It is not lost on me that many of you have acquired your qualifications while serving in different parts of the country. In the 47 odd counties that we now have in this country, those of you who are in Kericho, you must ask the question, what is it that you will do in the tea industry in Kericho so that Kericho can become a better place and make a contribution to the nation of Kenya and by extension to the East African community? Those of you who are in Nyeri, you must ask yourself, what will you do to the coffee and the tea industry in that area through innovation so that that county can contribute to the betterment of the nation of Kenya? Those of you who have qualified from Kisumu and the different parts of Kenya, the question that you must ask is what you will do through innovation so that this country and your county can be a better place. Today, I am asking you, when you go out there equipped as you are with your diplomas, are you going to make Kenya proud or are you going to make Kenya sad? Today, as you will be graduated, I'm asking you to pose the question. The education that you have acquired, the diplomas that you have acquired, has it made you have self-belief so that we can build a country that we will be proud of? Today, the education that you have acquired, will you make you have faith in Kenya so that you have no reason to run away to the United States, so that you have no reason to participate in a lottery for the green card today, will that education make you proud? So that when you have the opportunity to go to the United States of America or Europe, you'll come back and make Kenya great and not to lament about the denial of the opportunity to go and flip hamburger in the United States of America and work in old people's homes. These are the painful questions that we must ask. Because Africa and Kenya can be great, but Africa and Kenya will only be great on the shoulders of our men and women who make a solemn vow and a solemn decision to do that which is good and right. You who are living here today, when you go out, into the world, what will you build? This is the question that you must ask. And the question that we are asking today is a personal question. Today, when you live here, beyond the crowd that are sitting out there, some of you have brought your relatives in buses and you will be waving twigs along thicker highway. In song and dance, complete with circumcision songs, you will celebrate this day. But tomorrow, Saturday, you will be alone. And you will be asking your question, what will I do come Monday, the 14th day of November? You will be alone. And you will be walking a lonely path in which you will be asked, what have you done? And I have no doubt in my mind that the question as to what you will have been done, you will have done, will be answered by yourself. So today, it is not my intention to stand between you and your diplomas. It is not my intention to dampen your mood. It is not my intention to scare you about the world. 
It is not my desire to paint a dim picture. It is my desire to warn you that out there, there are challenges. But those challenges can be converted into opportunities depending on your attitude. Out there, there are difficulties. But those difficulties can be converted into great opportunities depending on your attitude. Out there, there will be many people who will discourage you. But those men and women who will discourage you, you remind them that there are others who have come before you and that you are better than them. I have no doubt in my mind when I look at your faces that you can do it. I do not know how many of you are Christians in this assembly, but even if you are not Christians, if you are Muslims or other denominations, I want to draw your attention to somewhere in the Bible, I think in the Acts of Apostles, somewhere in the Middle East, when the Holy Spirit ascended or is it descended amongst the people? Today, when I look at you, you are like disciples. I see your expectant faces, pregnant with hope, about to deliver. And when I look at your faces, Mr. Wahungu, I can see that there is no stillbirth today. <laughs> there will be a successful delivery. When I look at you today, this, in a manner of speaking, is your day of the Pentecost. In a short while, the Spirit will descend upon you in the form of diplomas. <laughs> and you will begin to speak in tongues. You will begin to speak in tongues some of the procurement kind some of the human resource kind, some of the purchasing kind, and I can assure you that that spirit will help us make this country a great country. So today, go out in a short while, speak in tongues, amaze the country, and make the country great. It can be done. It must be done, it will be done, and you are the ones who will do it. God bless you. Please, let's give it once more to Professor Pielo Lumumba. <laughs> I remember I mentioned to you that uh, if PLO cannot inspire you, then you may need angel to inspire you from heaven. <laughs> he has made reference to Okonkwo. In fact, um, the book Things Fall Apart says, if I remember, that it was widely known in nine villages and beyond. Our chief guest PLO today is known widely in East Africa as the Martin Luther King of Africa. He has made a lot of motivating speeches about African mentality that draws Africa back from development and the corruption in Africa. And just as we are listening to him, you'll agree with me, ladies and gentlemen, that PLO is the greatest orator that Kenya and the entire Africa has ever known. He's very passionate. I've shared with him several other platforms, and I can tell you he speaks like you are being inspired the next minute. Thank you so much, Professor, uh, for sharing with us that ground-shaking address to motivate our graduates this morning to make a difference. Just to do a recap on what you've shared with us, you've helped us to see that Africa has seen many graduations and will still see many more. The question is, what difference are you going to make as you go out there? Yes, there's a need to challenge ourselves, whether our management skills have become better over the years, right? Are we going to make a difference? He has made reference to certain institutions that have actually gone down to the dogs 
where are African side managing? And these are the questions that we always want to ask ourselves. What difference are you going to make with this qualification? Go out there, innovate and create jobs so that many unemployed ones can get jobs. In other words, you need to be job creators, not job seekers. He has mentioned the fact that if education doesn't change your mind and character, that's a sterile education. Education should enable you to play your part. So are you going to play your part after this very important event? Our mind's self-esteem still captured by alien civilization? Yes, this is something that we need to move away from. Just referring to a given statement that says, don't be trapped by dogma which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice, heart, and insight. Go out, be strong, and achieve your goal as you've always planned to. There are challenges and difficulties out there, but that can be conquered by a great attitude, as he has mentioned. And so, let the spirit of diplomas make you speak in tongues in different categories of these awards, just as it's helped us to see. It is time, just like the chief guest has told us, time has come for the spirit of KIM diplomas to descend upon the graduating class of 2016. And the question is, are you ready? Yes. Without much ado, I would like to invite or call upon the KIM head, uh, KIM uh, School of Management head, Margaret Muhoro, to guide us in the award of KIM diplomas. Let us appreciate her as she comes over. This is the moment that we have been waiting for, and we will proceed to award the diplomas. Guest of honor, sir, I have the privilege to present to you the following graduates in the year 2015-2016, who have been given tuition and examined by the Kenya Institute of Management, having satisfied the examiner for the award of diploma in marketing management. The best student, Kibandi Yunis Njoki. Agala, Amo, Apuotho, Aran, Atieno, Ayeko, Ayugo, Barongo, Buhere, Chelagat, Cherutich, Gikandi, Gitonga, Ikongo, Inyagala, Juma, Kabiru, Kagwima, Kangede, Karama, Karanja, Kavu, Keia, Kivudhania, Kikanga, Lewis, Luta, Magiri, Maina, Makau, Mamboleo, Masika, Mbaga, Mbugwa, Mugeni, Muigai, Mukola, Munai, Mungai, Murambi, and I call upon the chair to award the diploma in marketing management to the graduates. By the powers conferred to me by the council and the entire membership of the institute, I hereby award you the diploma in marketing management with all its rights, pri privileges, and obligations. As we come to the tail end of our program, we would want to appreciate in a special way the chief guest uh, for this graduation, Professor P.L.O. Lumumba, by giving him a small token of appreciation. I would like to invite the executive director, joined by Ms. Alice uh, Owar, the chairperson, KM Governing Council, to make the presentation. Let us appreciate P.L.O. for a fantastic message for the graduating class 2016. Again, requesting, we only have one or two items before we are done. Uh, to move a vote of thanks, allow me to invite Professor David Winkong Serem, who is a council member, to kindly move a vote of thanks. Thank you very much, uh, Miriam. 
Uh, mine is a humble uh, duty to give a vote of thanks first to our chief guest, uh, PLO Lumumba, um, who has really graced this occasion. He's been here with us since morning. And uh, Professor, we really thank you so much for honoring us to be with us and to be patient. I've never seen a professor who is patient for five years. I mean, for five, five hours. So, Professor, we really thank you very much. Uh, we also want to thank our chair um, uh, of Kim Governing Council, um, Ms. Alisa Wall. Thank you very much, Chair. Together with the council members who are present, uh, Dr. Soy and Bernard, who are also here, I really want to thank you very much for being here with us. Uh, we want to thank the Vice Chancellor of Management, University of Africa, um, Dr. Nicholas Letting, for sparing time to be with us also today. And of course, our sponsors, starting again with Management, University of Africa, CASNEP, Coca Cola, Optiven, Tropical Brands, Kenya Association of Project Managers. Thank you very much, sponsors, for without you, we would not have been here today. We want to thank graduates and their guardians. Without the, the graduates today, we would not have been here. We are here because of you. So we thank you so much. We want to thank all the invited guests and Kim alumni. We are really proud that you uh, graced the occasion to be here with us today. I want to thank uh, Kim faculty, led by, of course, our CEO, uh, Mr. Mutoni. Uh, for this very, very well-organized uh, graduation ceremony. Kim Secretariat, you did us proud. I think what you did uh, to make this event very colorful is something that can, it must be appreciated. We want to thank the choir, Kim Choir, led by Helen Tawali. Thank you very much, choir. You, you, you really entertained us. We also must thank the AP Band, led by uh, Commissioner Charles Njoka, Inspector Anthony uh, and then Inspector Frida Nzomo. Thank you very much also. We want to also thank key members who are here today. There are other members who may not be in the management, but they are members of Kim. They are all here today with us to celebrate this very, very, very auspicious occasion. We also must thank the MCs for today. Miriam, Miriam and Tom, you are a pride of KIM. We are always proud to to see you stand and, and, and lead this uh, 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 event like this one for today. We also must thank all, um, all service providers who are, who are here today uh, to give us this service, including the sports stadia. I think uh, this sports facility here is a pride of Kenya, and uh, we're really proud uh, uh, for being here today and using this facility. And lastly, we must thank God. I think this is our God who has really made this day. This is the day that the Lord has made. He has kept all our graduates or graduates who are here today healthy and all the parents healthy, and that is why we are here. Can we all clap for, our, for all these people? Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I would like to recognize and appreciate my co-MC, Mr. Tom Monguru. Let us put our hands together and appreciate him as well. Let's bow our hands and pray. Lord, we thank you and we praise you this afternoon because of the great day that you have accorded to us. We glorify your holy name because of the many things that you have done to us that we may not be able to mention them all. We thank you because of the journey masses that you granted unto us from all the corners of this great country of ours, and because of giving us peace and security throughout this process. We thank you because of taking us through and taking our graduates through the process uh, of studying for their diploma uh, from those who started all the way from bridging and today we are celebrating success. We cast our crowns at your feet, recognizing that without you we would not have made this big achievement. 
We thank you because of giving us a successful function. We thank you because of all the stakeholders that made this uh, function a success. Receive our thanksgiving this afternoon. As we leave, we pray that you may guide us as we travel back home, give us journey masses, protect us uh, on the way, and help us, O oh Lord, uh, reach our destinations safely. For the graduates, O oh Lord, we pray that you may equip them with the skills that they need, with the integrity, so that they can change this country for the better. For those who are looking for jobs, O oh Lord, may you give them jobs. For those who are looking for promotions, O oh Lord, how we pray that you may give them the desires of their hearts. Be with us as we live and guide us all the way. For this we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Hello guys, I'm Chekiri Faith, best student human resource management option from Kericho branch. I chose Kim because it is a good institution. I felt that it had the power to foster me into the best career and I would advise you to go to it. Kim has been the best ever since. Thank you. How are you all? I'm Sisida Gugi from KIM Vika branch, best student year 2016, public relations management option. I chose KIM because of quality education that, offered, that is offered. Bearing in mind, I have a strong background in teaching. I was able to identify KIM as the best college to offer the diploma that I needed. So I took PRM, management option, because it has helped me to meet the demands or the requirement of my current job. And therefore, I urge students to join KIM. Uh, my name is James Kinuthia. I have a very strong background in science and I work as a biochemist working for a pharmaceutical company. Now, you may ask then, why would I become the best student in business? I think that's evidence that Kim is able to transform any person from any background to make them to a very good business person. I think for me, Kim stood out for three things. Number one, their standard in teaching. And number two, even the convenience for any person who is working out there. I always wanted to do something with a background with business because uh, over time I've been able to climb the ranks in my workplace and how to even manage a team of salespeople. And I thought I needed some background also in business to be able to also compliment me as I move forward in my career. And so Kim came out very strongly. Uh, look at their ratings even the, in the currently uh, rated second top and ninth best in Africa. So for me, anyone out there who is looking for a business school that has both uh, convenience, for anyone who looks at a schedule that is convenient, and secondly, for anyone looking at uh, an organization that not only gives you quality education, but goes further to even give you a professional association body that you can join into and actually be able to post out there that I'm a member of the Kim uh, professionals body. So for me, as a best student uh, for 2015-2016, I advise anyone out there, just join Kim and experience what I have experienced personally. It's been a humbling journey for me. Being the best student, I have nothing to thump my chest and say I was good because I learned a lot or maybe I was good in business. Like I said, I'm from a scientific background. I have a BSc in biochemistry and an MSc in occupational health and safety. And so Kim is able to harness all these things together and put forward a good student in business. So thank you guys.